Well, what do you suppose that web-footed screwball Daffy Duck is up to now? He's hammering a sign up on that old broken down hotel over there. Let's sort of sneak up on him and see what's on his feathery little mind. Quack, quack, said the duck, quack, quack. Quack, quack, said the little duck, too. Oh, I'd like to be a girl with a silly little curl and a feather in my hat, wouldn't you? Quack, quack, said the duck, quack, quack. Quack, quack, said the little duck, too. Oh, I'd like to be a boy and live in Illinois with a frog in my pocket, wouldn't you? There! Now I'm in business. Daffy Duck's Hotel. Duck Inn. Rooms, ten cents a night. That ought to bring in the customers. And speaking of customers, here's my first one now. Elmer Foot. Hello, Daffy. I see you have rooms for ten cents. I'll take one of them for the night. Here's my ten cents. Thank you, Elmer. <laughs> How can you make any money, Daffy, at ten cents a night? Oh, I don't make any money on the ten cent rooms, but I make quite a tidy little sum on the extra services my guests usually require. Well, Daffy, you're not going to make any tidy little sum for me because I won't require any extra services. That's what he thinks. <laughs> He's up against a super clever little black duck named Daffy. Well, this is a nice cheery room. I'll turn in now and get a good night. Oh! What was that? Well, a mouse in my room and he's knocked over the lamp. I'll see about this. Ah, uh, here's the phone. Manager? Manager, there's a mouse in my room and I want him removed immediately. Yes, sir. Be right up, sir. Well, hurry up. Here you are, sir. The mouse exterminator. Why, that's a cat. Yep, nature's own mouse trap. Go get him, puss. <laughs> Didn't I tell you, that little old mouse won't be back. I'll leave the cat with you and you'll get a good night's sleep. Good night. Oh, now for some sleep. Into the bed and out with the white. Oh, oh for heaven's sake. Manager. Manager, you gotta get that cat out of here. He's keeping me awake. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Oh, what a hotel this is. I won't ever get to sleep. Here we are, sir. The cat exterminator. A bulldog. Figures, doesn't it? Go get him, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he made the cat jump right out of the window. Didn't even bother to open it either. <laughs> well, we dream, Elmer boy. Oh, well, I'll try again to get some sleep. Here, doggy, off the bed. Nice, doggy. Get off my bed. Hey, hey, cut that out now. That's my bed, and you get off that... Oh! Well, we'll just see about this. Manager! Manager! Yes, I know, I know. You want the dog out of there. I'll be right up. This'll be the last time I ever stay at a ten-cent hotel. Here you are. Jumbo will take care of that dog for you. Good night. An elephant? Oh, no. Jumbo, why are you putting your trunk in that pitcher of water? Don't, don't aim your trunk at me. I'm not the bulldog. Don't you dare squirt that water on me. No, no! Wait! <laughs> well, that does it. I'm getting out of this crazy mixed-up hotel, and you're welcome to my bed, bulldog. Just a minute, Buster. You're not leaving yet. You owe me money. Why, I paid you for my room. Yes, but there's all those special services that you've demanded. What? Yes, a mouse, cat, dog, elephant. Now, let's see. I'll slide down the front of It comes to exactly $35.51. Why, that's ridiculous. 
I won't pay it. Okay? I'll hold your trunk until you do. You can't do that. I'm a salesman and my samples are in that trunk. I'll go to the police. Huh, what a sore head. Salesman, huh? Hmm. Well, I'll just take a peek in his trunk and see what he's selling. Hmm, it's kind of dark in here. I'll strike a match. Well, what do you know? Who'd have ever guessed? He was selling 4th of July fireworks. <laughs> <laughs>